information hiding is a very important and object oriented paradigm and information hiding is also very nicely has been featured in Java program. So, we have discussed about the information hiding in our last module. Now, it is our time to have a quick demo of information hiding concepts in Java. As we have already discussed at that information hiding in Java is by means of four access specifier default, public, private and protected. In this demonstration, we will demonstrate how the different access modifier will have the different access protection for the different classes in Java program. And then with this modifier, the method overriding also method overloading as well as overriding how the two things can be there. And finally, we will have a quick demo about having all the modifiers in one program like. So, this is our plan of the demonstration today. Now, let us have the first demonstration in this series where we were going to discuss about usage of default access modifier. Let us have the program here. Uh, so, class A is declared as a default class because if we do not specify any modifier before a class name then it will be treated as a default. So, class A in this case is default and then you same thing the message void is basically is also a default method because no access specifier is mentioned. So, as a whole the class A is a default class and with a default method the message. Now, next is that main class which is also default class here and it is basically in one file because both the class A as well as demonstration underscore 71 is stored in the same file. So, there is no issue of running it. Now, so if we run this program, so it will basically run successfully, but it will run with default access specifier. For this program, it will run. Let us run this. So, as it is compiled successfully, definitely execution will be there and it will give the execution. So, it is the successfully executed. Now, so problem is not here actually, but problem will be seen somewhere else. Now, let us see. So, here basically in one file, the in this case we use the name of the program file as demonstration underscore 71 dot java. In one file we store two classes, but for a good practice that a java programmer should maintain separate file for the different classes. So, here is an idea about that class A is stored not in the same file as in the main class, but stored in another separate file and name of the file is same as the class file. So, class A is stored in the file called a.java and demonstration underscore 72 is a new demonstration showing that two files they are in two different two classes are in two different files if it is there whether they are if it is here in the class A file if you go to that okay, you can see that this class A is declared here with default access specification. Now, let us switch to the demonstration underscore 72 program file, it basically includes the main file, here it is also default. Now, here we can see these two files are stored where, we assume that these two files are stored in the same directory here underscore demonstration 72. So, if the two files are stored in the same directory, so resolution is not a problem and if the files are with access specifier. So, member or accessing method is also not a problem. So, here from the main class we are trying to create an object A as A is the default class. So, object creation is not an issue and then we are accessing the method msg the default method in the class A also not an issue. So, in this case if we run the program it will run successfully. This means that access specification is access specification allowed to access within the same file or in the same directory. So, no issue if they are in the same file or same directory access modification will work for you. Now, yeah, okay, so this is working. Now, in our next demonstration we will see if the class file A move to some one directory and then if we can run this program if which is from other directory. 
but with access specifier is a default. Now, here if you see we created one directory demonstration underscore 73 under which okay, we can direct a, create a directory directory 1 where we have stored the file a dot class and a dot java the file it is there a dot java let us see, so see the a dot java file here. Yeah. So, here the same file, but main stored in the directory the different directory. Now, let us go to the main class which is again stored in the different directory here go to the main method may yeah in this case main method is stored in the directory demonstration underscore 73. Now, you see the class a dot java file is stored in different directory whereas, the main method is stored in different directory. Now, we are trying to execute run this program before going let us compile this now see whether it can compile successfully or not. So, if it is an access specifier is default and the two files are in different sub directories then it will not successfully compiled. Here you can see the compilation error is that uh, that is basically error cannot find symbol a that means a is not known to this file. So, access specification if it is default then that is not accessible to any other file outside this directory. Okay, so, this is why this error is giving there. Now, so this program shows that the, the last four pro, three programs that we have discussed about shows that how the access specification default works for us. Now, again we have some other demo here let us show the 7.4 program here where we can see. Uh, okay, so, this program is basically creates a the class a file in one directory as we have the directory is also can be termed as a package. So, we create one directory called pack 1 and under this pack 1 we store one file a dot java let us see the a dot java, a dot java structure here ok fine a dot java is very simple here we just mention that this a dot java is in package pack 1 actually it is a directory this one. So, class and one thing you can see here we made it public. So, here class a is not access a default access specifier default, but it is made as public. Now, in the last example that we have shown if it is default then it is not accessible to that, but if it is a public then this class can be accessible outside to any file whichever it is whether the same directory or in different directory. Now, let us have the another program say demonstration program the main class which is stored in pack 2, pack 2 is another directory and we will define here. So, in under this pack 2 we store this program that name as uh, this name is demonstration underscore 74 dot java file and this is basically we have to give an import pack 1 showing that it has the import capability means whatever the classes which are declared there in pack 1 directory will be accessible to here because of this regarding these things we will learn about whenever we cover the package concept. Now, here okay, with this if we run this program earlier similar kind of program was not com successfully compiled, but here you can see this program is all right it will run for you correctly. Yeah, so what is the error? It is here. Message is not public. Okay, so it is not working. Let's return to the class one. Yeah, we cannot access because it is a message is default here. So if we make it public, yeah, you just make it public. Then this error is giving there because message, although class A is public, but its method is not public. So this is a public is more weaker restriction than the default one. So, default is super right here. So, default has the highest privilege this one. So, that is why this message is not accessible. Now, let us again go to the main method so, compile it. Okay. Yeah. So, right yes. So, we have to compile because we have changed it and then next go to the main method main class right okay. run this and now it is okay. successful and it is running. Okay, fine. So, this now works for you. So, a public method and with public the public class with its public members is highly accessible from outside any class.
that is the example explain us. Now, our next example showing on the public access specifier, let us have a quick look a another program. Uh, let us go to the 7.5 dot java here. Yes. So, uh, just to load it. Yeah, fine. Yeah. So, in this program we can see. Uh, so, we have declared uh, the two classes class A, where the class A is declared as a default and it it has uh, members uh, two members though both are declared as public. So, it public means as we know that this class is accessible to any other class belongs to the same directory. However, this class is not accessible outside to any file belongs to other directories okay, that is fine. So, but here this class A as it is in the same file of this demonstration underscore 75. So, no issue we can use it and here we can see we just create an object of this class here and so object creation is ok and we also access the method here. So, public method is accessible anywhere in the same file in the different file, but in the same directory or in the different directory in the different file no issue. So, in this case it is no issue. So, if we run this program it will run it correctly. Now, let us compile first this program and after the compilation we will execute it. So, that it will run it yeah. So, it is running. So, okay, fine it is running successfully yeah. So, it is running. Now, let us switch to the program again I just want to do little bit modification. So, that we can see the twist is here. So, a class which is in the same file whether we can declare with some other access modification for example, public let us specify the access for the class as public. Okay. Now, let us see what will happen if we try to run uh, compile this program what will happen we made it public and as we know the public is public. So, it can be accessible anywhere, but what will be the problem you can see yeah. So, here we can see here class A is public and should be declared in a file named a dot java that means, if you declare a pa class public then that class should be stored separately in a different file name, but if you want to store in the same file name do not specify any other access specifier other than default. So, it is not required here. Okay. So, if you use two or more classes in the same file you should have the access specifier as a default no other access specifier is allowed there, but in the separate file then you can specify any access specifier. So, this is the example that we have discussed about regarding the access specifier and then public specifier and let us have the another example about the uh, uh, so private access modification let us go to the program 7.7 .7. here we use the private access modification. Now, let us have the program here yeah we can see one class yes. Okay. So, class A here is declared and it has two members one methods one method and one members the data is a 40 as a declared as a private and then message is declared as a public. So, two members data and method one is private another is public. So, and then class A is a default with default access specifier. Now, in the main method main class demonstration underscore 77 is the main class name here. Here we create an object A. So, it is ok because A is accessible to its own file and then system dot out dot println object dot data. Now, here the comment is that compile time error this is obvious because the data which is declared in class A is a private and then private data is not accessible outside this class A. It is available accessible to the class A itself, but not outside as the demonstration underscore 7 is an outside class of class A. So, we cannot access. So, this is why it will give an error. Now, let us run this program and we see it is giving an error. Yeah. 
yeah. Now, here you can see error data has private access in A. So, as it is private access, so we cannot access it this one. If we comment it, then definitely it will work. Okay, go to the program and comment it. Yeah, comment it. Yeah, fine. No, no, no. This one. No, no, no. no. System dot out dot println. Yeah, yeah. So it's okay. Comment. Yeah. Then it is work. Okay, it will work because we are not accessing any private mem members to any other class. Fine. So this actually shows that how private members uh, access specifier is work there. Let us have one more example about uh, private access specification 7.8 please go to the 7.8. Now, this is an interesting progra problem uh, program one you just note it, it is the same problem as in the last program one, but it is a little bit different is there. The same problem in the sense that class A has the same specification private and public the message method. Now, let us come to the main class demonstration underscore 71. Now, here uh, this is the private in data 2, one private member is declared here. We can declare a private member here, no issue that is fine and also we declare one public uh, member data 2 whatever it is there. Now, okay, okay, fine, fine, let us see, uh, let us first declare about uh, private in data 2, uncomment the private one uncomment this one. Okay. Now, what we have done here is that in this class main class we declared one main method is there and then one method one data is that which is declared as a private and we int data to okay. So, no private is comment there okay. no, no no that is not correct. So, let us comment it private comment it private okay, fine. Now, so data 2 is declared as a with access specifier default. So, default and an object A is created here. So, object creation is not a problem because the default default class is used here. Now, system dot out dot println class B data no issue because it is a public to this method and obg message is also not an issue because it is a public method here. So, here, but here you can see if we run it. Uh, then see that message msg is basically access a private data no issue, but it is basically access a private data indirectly in main method which is in class other than the class A. So, this is quite ok. Now, this is one important point that you can note it here. Let us switch to the program again. I just repeat it here again. Here you see message being a public is accessible to any other method. So, we can have the obg dot message in main method. As message is public, it accessed, but message this message is even access the private data which is private to class A, but here the as we can object message we can see the result. So, that 40 is now accessible to a method a met method which is outside the uh, class A actually. Okay. So, this is the idea about now here again let us switch to the program here. Now, can we declare a private method, method in this main method here? Now, let us see integer data 2 may be commented please comment it and we declare public here. Okay. So, fine now let us declare here as public and let us see whether we can run this program or not. Yeah, fine now here it is an error you see why the error it is there. So, error is that public in data 2 a things cannot be declared as public only we can declare as a access specifier default because in the same file we cannot declare a method a, 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 any member as a public. So, public in in this case is giving error as it gives the public as an error a private should give an error also. So, that means we cannot declare one member in a main method or is a main class without access specifier any other specifier. So, let us see again private, so private data. Now, what is the lesson that we have learned from the demonstration is that in the main class if we declare any member they should be declared with default access specifier. No other access specifier is allowed to declare any member in the main method that is the important thing that you should note it. Okay. So, this is the concept about public access specifier and in some sense the private access specification. 
Now, our next demonstration is basically a constructor, whether a constructor can be declared as a private or some other access specification other than public. So, our next demonstration 7.9 includes this clarification. Here we can see one right, yes, 7.9. Here we can declare a class as a default class, but its constructor is declared as a private. Now, we if we declare a constructor as a private, what will happen? That it will not be able to create any objects in any other class, although it is accessible to some other class in the same program, maybe. So, here in the demonstration underscore 79, here we can see we are trying to create an object A whose constructor is private, it is giving compile time error because constructor is private. If it is a private constructor, no object can be, can be created in any other, uh, other class. So, here is the error is a compile time error showing. So, this basically gives an error because a constructor is private if we remove this constructor private may be say public right here public is all not required ok fine ok fine you can run it then save it and then run it first you have to compile yeah then compilation is successful so it is running yeah so it is running ok there is no ok as uh, ok object new oh we do not have any print method. So, message is there object right o, obg msc here. Now, so we can create an object which was not possible by means of private constructor, but if it is a public it can be accessible here ok fine. So, this this program shows that a constructor can not be declared as a private in any class if it is there then no object can be created. Now, our next demonstration showing the protected access modifier in a class. As we know the protected access modifier is basically access limitation, it limits its access to only the sub classes, inherited classes. Now, here is an example class regarding the access modification called protected. So, class A is a default, but with its two members the protected as an integer roll number and a message as protected message. So, this is the one class here. Now, have the main class say demonstration underscore 710. Now, so far object creation is concerned. So, it is not an issue because it is a default class, but accessing the protected message obg msg or accessing a protected member value. So, roll number is a problem. Let us run this program as obvious this program should not pass the compilation task step. So, it will give a compilation error yeah as we see object dot roll number it giving say compilation error because cannot find symbol look like this one. So, it is the error is there, but object is created however. And another important thing obg dot msg it did not give any error report. Actually, if a method is declared as a protected and if it is in the same file, then protected is also accessible, but the protected member is not accessible via the this one. Okay, fine. So, it is not working, but here again we have done some mis uh, mistake actually. Now, here obg roll number you just see. Uh, roll number it is the method you have given not method not method just gives a obg roll number right uh, system dot out dot println obg roll number just give system ok system yeah yeah that same same statement you can call it there system dot out dot println just copy the object object roll number roll number is not a method na yeah correct you can type it here that is fine in yeah correct here and then commented object or roll number this is not a valid one yeah. Now, see what we have done here a class a is a default class with protected, but if the class is in the say access in the same file whatever it is a protected it will be accessible. So, so, protected members is accessible in this program. In this case, this program will not give any error. It will 
compile successfully, what is the problem? You have not run it successfully, compile it. Or oh, roll number, you object to obg dot roll number, right? obg dot roll number here. Yeah, obg dot roll number. Yeah, there is a simple mistake is there. Let us run, okay, we have corrected it. Now let us run it. Yeah, so it is yeah, it is now running correctly. So, what we have understood from this demonstration is that in the same file the protected members are accessible to different classes that is all. Now, again if we made this class in different file then definitely it will not work as it works in this case. Now, here is a one example showing the same thing here the class a file is kept in the different file. If it is a different file that this will not work for you. Let us have the second demonstration illustrating the protected member is more there. What is the 7.12 program? Let us load it. Yeah, we have mentioned here protected void display and then yeah. So, this this will work for us, no issue. Protected method will be accessible to the same class, but if we store in the different class, if we store the class A in a different class, then it will not be there. Now, let us see the inheritance whether we have through the inheritance we can access it or not. Let us go to the <coughs> program 7.14, I think this is right, okay. we have to skip it go quick. Now, so protected member has its more, more implication in the context of inheritance. This is one example so that how the member protected can be accessed to the inherited class, derived class or subclass. So, class A is a superclass in this case, where J is a private, as it is private, it cannot be accessed to any other class other than this method in this class. And so, this is a, con, is a say method to initialize the object i and j in this class. So, it is not an issue because it can access it on the member. Now, here B class extends A. So, here and it has its own member 1 total as an integer and its method sum. Now, here total i plus j as you understand that as j being a pub private. So, this is an compilation error, this leads to a compilation error. So, it will not work here. So, private method cannot be accessible to any derived class uh, right here. So, this will give an error. Okay. So, it is giving an error because the j is not accessible there. Now, if we make it protected for example, so instead of private let us go here protected. Now, see this error can be eliminated here in this case because protected members are readily accessible to the derived class here. So, run this program and now this program will work for you. Yeah. So, this program works correctly and we can see that protected member is accessible to the inherited class. Now, let us have a little bit bigger one example which includes many other methods with many access modifier 7.15 is the last demo, last but one demo, okay, fine. Let us see the program here, a little bit okay, large program here, but program is readily understandable here. So, we have declared one class called the base class which its members public one, private and protected and integer is a default. Then here is a method public declare as a public get x and then another method set x is also public and another method get y to private it is basically initialized to private value it is a private method and set y is also another private method that basically to initialize the private elements in it and then get z is a protected that means dealing with the protected members there and then setting the value and then get a return a, a is basically uh, the one default uh, values is there set a is to default there. So, we have declared four members public, private, protected and default and then eight different methods regarding their accessing and here is basically if we remove the comment then those are the comments basically creates a problem 
Now, let us have a quick look about the main method. In this main method, we create an object of the class base class R R and then R R dot Z as you know Z is a default one. So, R R dot Z is accessible here. So, this is not an error. So, it will pass. Now, we create a another object of the main class method say demonstration 7 1 subclass object new this one and for this subclass object we are trying to access the different method get set all these things are there. So, for the access modifier is public is concerned system out dot print ln it is not an issue it will access because public method public values are accessible to here. So, set x is being a public method it will accessible here similarly get x also will be accessible here. So, this is not an issue. Now, so far the access modifier public is concerned they are accessible. However, there will be an error if we remove the following commands in the following line right. For example, system dot out dot print ln value of y is subclass object y y here y is a private as the private cannot be accessed by any subclass object here. So, that cannot be accessed here. So, if we remove this command, so it will set an error. So, in that case subclass object set y also not an privileged uh, method for this class and then we cannot access it here. Then so far the protected is concerned. So, as it is a derived one, so extend because you see demonstration underscore 71.5 extend base class. So, derived class this means that all the protected member and the protected methods are accessible. So, they all all will access here. Now, so far the default access precision is concerned in this class default is in the same file. So, it will not be an error. So, it will execute successfully. So, this is the understanding about the different access modification. So, far the uh, program in Java is concerned. Now, I will just conclude this demonstration with the last example this is related to the method overwriting. Whether we can overwrite some method having some access specification which is already specified with some other access specifier. The basic concept is that a method can be overrided by one weakest one if it is e, e, by if a access specifier is weakest one then the strongest one then it can be specified by the weakest one, but the reverse is not possible. So, this is the concept it is basically upward compatibility it is there. Now, so far the different access is concerned private is the strongest and after the private protected and after the protected default and the weakest is the public there. So, if we declare a public later on we can method override as a default. If we declare as a public overridden as a private can be possible, but if it is a protected and then accessing that is a default it is not possible because default is weaker than the protected and vice versa. Similarly, public is uh, weakest. So, public if a default is there then overriding as a default is possible, but reverse is not possible. So, this demonstration has a quick one example that giving the same notation here. Here we declare one class here the class A yes class A and in this class we have the method message 1 as a public msg 2 method as a private and msg 3 is another method as protected. So, the three different method with three different access specifier we have not used any default access specifier here in this case, but we could do that anyway. So, let us come to the inherited class extends a now by virtue of inheritance in this class all the method is available except the private method protected is available and then the public is also accessible there. Now, in this method we have declared one method as a default method message it is not an issue. Now, here if is a message one which is declared in its base class as a private, but here we are declaring as a uh, public. So, that overriding the method you go to the previous class the base class please message 1 yeah. So, message 1 you see message 1 is declared as a public. So, if it is a public overriding is quite possible public to public same access level method overriding is possible. Let us go to the main class here no main 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 method main class yeah. So, ok fine. So, message 1 overriding is possible. Now, here msg 2 
in base class this method m s g 2 is coming as private right go there private method. So, here we are going to override it as a private we can override it, but other than private we cannot override because it is the highest access phase one it cannot be overridden. Now, let us go to the next one yeah. So, m s g 3 which is a protected declared as a protected, but here we can override as a what is called the public. So, that is possible. Now, so with these things we can override it and then once the overwritten is there we can create the object of these classes and then access it. Now, let us compile this and let us see what is the output this program it gives you. So, this basically gives a hierarchy of access overriding method overriding with the different access specifier. So, actually for a yeah. So, here you can see no there is a problem you can just see there is a problem in the 716 compile it successfully. Now, what I want to mention as the last uh, notice note is that access modification is not a critical job for that you specify which method which member you want to give access to for which one, but the compilation itself take care about all this invalid or illegitimate any access specification. For a Java program it is a great relief that if we have wrong things and then program is built up, but this is not a violation because compilation time only it will resolve if we specify according to one. So, this is the demonstration about the access specifications uh, and we have learned about how the information hiding in access specification is can be done and obviously, practice will improve your understanding I advise you to go for rigorous practice for this. So, with this I want to stop it here today thank you very much.